welcome back to another video. So this is a long awaited video of me turning this. Remember, I hauled this in my Michaels spooky haul. Well, we're finally gonna make this into a gothic floral little garden. I have everything that I need right here. I found this at the dollar store. It's a Dahlia, yeah, it's a Dahlia. It has a little clip, so I'm, I don't know if we're gonna use it, but I thought it was pretty, so I thought I'd buy it. But we have a whole bunch of stuff to put in here. So, we have these little moth lights. Super cute. And then we have these purple lights. I'm gonna use both, cause let's get real. If you guys look at this, I look gorgeous it's gorgeous i just filmed this look today filming two videos in one day Ooh. so um this eye look this whole makeup look will be up before this video um i bought these little styrofoam things it's called floral foam i hope it works it comes with two we do have to break it apart okay so i'm gonna put these first and then i'm gonna put the moss so we have one whole one in there. Well, not a whole one, but ah! now we're taking the moss. And you know, I actually have this potpourri too. Um, if you saw one of my, uh, I think it was the last, was it the first? I don't know if it was the, I think it was the first um, spooky haul video I did where I showed y'all that I bought this potpourri from at home and I put it in my skull planter that I have but I bought that like three years ago and the, all of this was left over so oh, it smells so good mm. we're gonna add some moss if we don't use all of it oh gosh this is such a mess oh and look at that green though so that's fine if we don't use all of it this is what it's looking like so far look at that isn't it cute I love it I love it just gotta fluff it up and just mess with it okay now we're gonna go in with what i consider to be the hard part i don't know if i should put on the light i should put on the lights first and these are the moth lights that i want to put first watch this be so difficult to put on oh can y'all see the ball that they gave me I don't even know how to untangle this. Michaels, why do you do this, man? You know what? I'm going to try and figure this out, and then I'll be right back. Just give me a second. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, here they are. They don't light up. <sighs> that that kind of bummed me out, not going to lie. But it's okay, um, because I know for a fact that these light up. Okay. This is not looking the way I wanted it to look. Okay, you know what? Scratch this. Let's put the lights first. Okay, these work. I'm so excited. Okay. These are so cute, huh? Ooh. I am going to show you what this looks like at night along with the rest of my room because it looks spooky in here. So I don't want this to be too far down, um, this battery pack, just because it does have a button. So we'll put this here in the middle. I tried my best. Um, it is a lot more difficult than it looks to wrap these things around here. Let's start off with these little branchy trees. I bought two of each um, little thingy, little Halloween trees. These are for wreaths and I was like, absolutely not. It looks cool, huh? Okay, so now we're going to go, I'm going to take all of them out. Give me a second. I hope we don't need more flowers than I already have. Because if we do, I'm going to be very sad because I don't have any. I want to go in with these. These are going to go towards the front, maybe? Um, actually, no, I want these in the front. These look like little poison berries. They're so cute, right? Okay, so let's take the little poison berries out. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. <laughs> okay, well maybe we can put the, the little Dahlia right here. Look at this! This might be a little too big, but it's fine. I really like how this looks. Okay, 
I'm so excited. I kind of don't want to put the moths out. I'm really bummed that they didn't even turn on. Shut up. This looks so cute. Oh, you're not gonna be able to really appreciate it because of the amount of light that's in here. I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about this Dahlia right here. You could also put some of this, the potpourri, because I don't know, like I like it with the Dahlia, but at the same time I don't, because it's just, I don't know, like it's, it's not giving, but it needs to give, and it's so big. See, um, oh, I have one in white. It's kind of stained, but it's fine. So we could put her right here. Oh, that looks cute. Add some more greenery, like right here. We have these little things. I don't know what they are. It kind of looks like a gothic acorn. <laughs> I just really want to incorporate this Dahlia because it's so pretty. That is so cute and no one could tell me otherwise. So I'm actually forgetting something. I forgot I had these little guys, these little crows. It's complete. There was something missing up here and I'm glad I found this little guy. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm so creative and I'm gonna toot my own horn with this because as soon as I saw this planter, I was like, abso fucking -lutely. So I'm gonna show you all my inspiration for this. It'll be right here somewhere. I want you all to see what inspired me um, to make this and to buy everything to make this. I think this is so adorable. The pop of white and greenery coming out is just exactly what this needed but yeah you guys i really hope you enjoyed um this video was everywhere i'm so sorry for that but to be fair okay these lights were trying me okay the, these lights were trying me we managed to make it work of course i will show you all what my room looks like at night so you all can see the spookiness it's a lot of orange and purple and I'm so excited.